This video is still on the chapter of representation theory. We are still doing some revision of linear algebra. We have been uh, working with inner product spaces and in this video we are going to introduce the concept of unitary operator. A linear operator U in the general linear group space V is said to be unitary if the inner product uv uw equals vw for all v and w in the vector space. Now some remarks about um, unitary operation operators. If u is a unitary operator and v is in the kernel of u, that implies that the inner product uv, uv is zero, meaning that v, v, this is a property of inner product. And since this happens, v equals zero. So, since v is in the kernel and this happens, we can say that unitary operators are invertible. So uv, the, this, this set of unitary maps, so if we join all the unitary maps, um, is a subgroup of the general linear group. So if A, uh, this being a, a matrix, right, if A is in the space of um, uh, matrices dimension mn, m times n, with complex entries, so if this is a matrix, it implies that it's transpose, meaning A transpose, so this is Aij, the transpose will be Aji, okay? And it will be this is this one is in the space dimension mn. This one will be in the space dimension n times m. Okay, with complex entries too. Now the so this is the the transpose. Okay, this is the transpose. Now the conjugate. The conjugate of A is A bar, A I J bar, and the conjugate transpose, also known, known as uh, adjoint, the adjoint matrix, is A star equals A uh, transpose, the, the conjugate transpose, or the the conjugate of the transpose. All this is basic linear algebra. Another very well-known fact is that uh, the conjugate transpose of a product of m matrices is, so the conjugate transport transpose of A times B will be B conjugate transpose times A conjugate transpose. Okay, now if V is in the complex M space and W is in the complex M space, then the inner product of this being a, the, the matrix, right? Uh, this is still the, the same matrix that we, uh, sorry, I, I call this uh, I J right. This is this matrix. So the inner product of A V with W will be equal to V um, A conjugate transpose W. Okay. Uh, please mind the dimensions here. Okay. Um, well. I'm using here 
the standard inner product on this space and on this space okay I'm going I'm using the standard inner product please check a previous video video 2 or 3 for this now um, well looking at the space for instance a complex um, N uh, with respect to, to the standard inner product that I introduced in a previous video the, if we have a linear transformation associated with a matrix A so this will be the, the matrix of the transformation and this matrix is in the general linear group right of n dimension um, so this in respect to the standard inner product this linear transformation given by A will be unitary please check the, the beginning of the video if and only if the inverse equals the conjugate transpose or the adjoint okay so the transformation will be unitary if and only if the inverse equals the adjoint uh, that's why we call this sort of uh, if this happens if this happens we call this matrix a we call it a unitary matrix and this matrices this unitary um, matrices they they belong to a group we call it u n so this is the the group of all n by n unitary matrices okay a matrix that lives in the in the space of matrices dimension n by n is called a self adjoint if the the self adjoint if the adjoint equals the, the matrix itself okay so this one if this happens if the adjoint and the matrix is the same it is called self adjoint and we call a matrix symmetric if the transpose equals the matrix okay if if the, the matrix has real entries then A is self adjoint if and only if A is symmetric. Okay now if T is if T is a linear operator on an inner product or space B then T uh, star or we can say um, we can call it the adjoint operator okay from V to V is the unique linear operator that satisfies this condition the inner product TV W equals V T adjoint W for all V and W in V okay so this is this one is called the adjoint 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 of T this uh, operator okay and if B is a orthonormal basis for V then we can write um, the, the operator the adjoint operator with the basis B or the adjoint of the operator with the basis B okay so and and this is like the matrices okay if the uh, the the linear operator equals it's a joint we call it a self adjoint operator 